Hi, I'm Amos, and I'm here with Moog Music, and today I'm going to be demonstrating Minotaur Firmware version 2.0. This is a major update for the Minotaur, and all of our existing customers can download and install this update, and it'll be shipping in all new units. The Minotaur can now store 100 presets right inside the unit. You can unplug it, take it away from the computer, take it on stage, and all of your presets will be there. And in addition, the Minotaur Editor version 2 allows you unprecedented new control for loading those presets into the memory of the Minotaur, arranging and organizing them. In the new Minotaur Editor version 2, we have a redesigned presets panel. You can easily preview all the presets just by clicking on them, and that loads the sound to the panel. And if you want to load the preset into the hardware, you just pick a hardware destination and click to load the sound in there, and it's stored in the memory. You can power off and take the sounds with you. When you're away from the computer, there's a quick way to change presets directly from the panel. You hold down the glide button and press the oscillator 1 or oscillator 2 buttons to scroll up and down through the presets. And at any time, you can hold down glide and press both oscillators 1 and 2, and that'll take you back to the real panel settings. So you can always, in a moment, jump back to what the panel is actually doing, or from there, jump through to your presets. Another new feature that we've added in firmware version 2 is fully independent control over the envelope decay and release times. You can access this directly from the panel with another button shortcut. You press and hold the release button while turning the decay release knob, and that adjusts only the release time. Once you've done that, if you just turn the decay release knob by itself, it'll adjust only the decay time and leave the release where you set it. Another new feature that we're really excited about is the addition of control voltage mapping. You can now take the CV inputs on the back of the Minotaur, the volume control, pitch control, and the gate input, and you can map those inputs to almost any parameter in the Minotaur. So I've set up a simple mapping using this CP251 CV processor. I've taken the square wave output there, running it through a lag processor and into this multiple so that I can adjust the range that it sweeps and that is now controlling oscillator 2 frequency on the Minotaur. So you get a sound like this. In the Minotaur Editor version 2, we've added a whole new panel for controlling CV mapping and hardware settings and this makes it extremely easy to set up custom mappings from the CV inputs to any parameters that you like in the sound engine. Here we've got a column for pitch CV mapping and volume CV mapping, and it's as simple as selecting the destination you want. Right now I've got VCO2 frequency as my destination, and I can change that to VCO1 wave, let's say, VCO2 wave, or any other parameter you like. Likewise, with the gate CV mapping, you can only control on off type parameters, so it's a shorter list, but just click and it'll assign that mapping. We can now map the CV inputs to any Minotaur parameter, but that comes with an unexpected bonus feature, which is that all of the Minotaur parameters send out MIDI control data over the USB MIDI connection. So what that means is you can take a CV, map it to a Minotaur parameter, and get MIDI data out corresponding to your CV. That's control voltage to MIDI conversion, which is very rare and hard to come by, and we've added two channels of continuous CV to MIDI and one gate channel. I've set up a simple example here, just taking that CV mapping that I already have. I've got a funky LFO that's going into the Minotaur, and I have mapped that to this auto filter plugin. So I now have full analog control over the plugin that's on screen here. And you can see that it's wiggling back and forth in perfect sync with this LFO. I can change these knobs around and totally customize what, this, what is happening on screen while working in the analog domain. Thanks very much for your time, and I've just shown a brief overview of some of the new features of the Minotaur, and I think you'll find as you dig deeper into it that this will change and revolutionize not only your sound design on the instrument, but the way that you can control the other gear in your studio using these new features. So thanks again, and remember to go to our website and register your Minotaur to get the new version 2 editor. Thank you very much.